What do you see?
The things that pass for art these days. Best time I have delayed long enough. I should find that alley and see what we can learn about Al Ghul. This looks like the place. Now where is Ali? Nothing can hide from us, Enkidu. Credit where it is due, for this man came to my aid at my darkest hour. And from what I have heard, I am not the only one. <clears throat> I will pay a great tribute to you in a chronicle of our exploits. But we must first write the end of it. Come. I see you two have met. Only briefly. But the night is young and there is much to discuss. About what you can procure for me. Our means are limited. But rest assured, I will listen to your needs, Ali. Later. Share what you know about al Ghul, so that Basim may do what he's come here to do. Yes, yes, yes. Your affairs before mine. But just this once. Al Ghul sends orders to the prison guards detailing where to dig around Baghdad. But it's not just prisoners he's using. There is a promissory note for workers here. 
It looks like Al Ghul arranges to purchase migrant laborers as well. Who in Baghdad could make these sorts of arrangements without raising suspicion? There is but one man, Masoud Al Yaqub. He runs Baghdad's soap mills, finds paying work for foreign settlers, most of them Persian. So he forces these laborers into working his dig sites, all under the guise of providing them with a livelihood. <sighs> Mershi! <sighs> he tracked down one of Al Ghul's dig sites, posed as a prisoner. What happened? The search turned up nothing. But that did not stop the guards from trying to silence us. I cracked one skull and fled. I doubt the others were as lucky. A foolish thing to do with nothing to show for it. Not nothing. Al Ghul will be at the Karawansarai. I overheard the guards talking. Of course. Merchants from all over stop there to rest. If Mas'ud is buying migrant workers, it is likely the Karawansarai is where he conducts his affairs. What does he look like? He is a large man. Favors adornments like jewels and silks from the east. Then he will be hard to miss. It is time, Basim. What is your plan? That will be for Basim to decide. Basim? Alone? No. Let me gather some men. And allow for foolish spectacle. Your day to display your prowess will come. But this day belongs to Basim. Consider it part of our agreement. Basim? I am ready. Then walk with me. Come, Basim. Their member is within our reach, Basim. And like those before and those yet to come, Al Ghul's death will be just. This is a man who preys off the desperate and the disenfranchised. And such atrocities will only continue, for Al Ghul is but a cog in a larger wheel, one that spins destructively. So long as it does, we hidden ones will make it our mission to slow it to a stop. Today, you will lend your hand your blade to that very mission. And while Al Ghul is your first target, he will not be your last. I have great belief in that, and in you. Through all my stoicism, my harsh lessons, know that you have impressed me, Basim. The Urdu's presence in Baghdad and beyond rests on shifting sands so long as you remain at the tip of our spear. And that is where I intend to remain. Beholden to your guidance, Master. As busy as a beehive. Come, set your sights on the trial. Merchants, livestock, caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient. And trust your instincts.
That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. Go now. Wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. You think your cruelty is well hidden, Al Ghul. For you chose those with little voice whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding, died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh, safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. Come, the stage is yours, Basil. I will be watching. Lend me your eyes. presents itself. Seize it. to move.
Atlas Dog! Yeah. you! I'll sound the alarm! The fire has caused Ruckus an alarm. What delays your departure, friend? Someone by the name of Mas'ud so fit to inspect my wares. And so here I wait. Who does he think he is? What is it you are carrying? I ask only so that I may collect it for you. Would you do that? I would take great joy in seeing that man in a fit of anger. He's a crate of silks and spices. Ready your camel. I will see what I can do. If I can get that merchant to leave, his abrupt departure may lure Al Ghul what out. What is the delay? I am not certain. Some guards came poking around and ordered us all to wait. There is no talking to such fellows. Be my eyes, Enkidu. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh. 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 
laces and silks. There cannot be too many of those around. Caravan Merchant's Crate. and silks. There cannot be too many of those around. Just 
strange thing to happen upon. Perhaps I can use this to my advantage. Hey, what? Come on! Let's bathe in blood! No. The both two men are having a loud dispute, but not loud enough. How might I push them over the edge? Hmm. Pungent. This must be the caravan merchant's crate. Some music to soothe your spirits. We were promised steady work and fruitful returns. Now we're being made to slog in the desert. We were deceived. Please, you must help us. Tell me what I can do to help. The man who brought us has a deed that binds us to Mas'ud. If he has not collected his fee, he should still be here. If I can relieve these men of their duty, it will not be long before Al Ghul catches wind of his disbanded workforce. Do not make a scene. Raise the alarm! God! The criminal is here! Stop! Oh. Oh. Greetings, my friend. What sorts of goods are you traveling with? Ivory and honey. And you? Are you seeking to trade? Perhaps. For now, I will browse for a little longer. Get the watch! Where this is, is you, huh? the wanted man! When I find you... Raise the cry! Get the watch! It's the ice floor here! <laughs> Is that what I think it is? Is this your crate? Ah, it is indeed. The guards returned it to you. In a manner of speaking. Very good, very good. I must repay you. You seem like a man who enjoys a good meal. Care for some spice. 
Not today, no. But I will ask that you loudly proclaim your departure. Make sure Mas'ud notices. <laughs> we share the same mind. My thanks to you, ya Sadiqi. came poking around and ordered us all to wait. At this rate, we would be here until next Keep at it. Find a better price? Come back and I'll have the other trader beaten! Turn your hate inward, Masoud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened? The feeble who have cast their lot? It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. Contribution? To what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. The hidden one you may be, but not just.
right. Clear your mind. Al-Ghul's relentless pursuit at the expense of human lives has come to an end. It is a day of victory, not only for those spared of his cruelty, but for the hidden ones. The Order's grand plot in Baghdad may still be a mystery, but we can at least be certain Al-Ghul's role in it has been vanquished. I believe what he sought to uncover were more strange objects, like the one I took from the Winter Palace. What does the Order want with these relics of the past? And why guard them with so much effort? You are beginning to ask the right questions, Basim. We shall find the answers together. Lately, all I have are questions. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I said anything. How am I to guide you if you will not speak openly? I have... I have... struggled with nightmares. In these dreams, a jinni torments me until I wake up panicked and soaked with sweat. In Alamut, I had nearly forgotten about it. But when I killed Alul, I felt its presence again. And I am left asking why? Why here? Why now? Why me? Piling questions and no answers. I meant to tell you, but... You were afraid I would think you weak of mind. We are only as weak as we allow ourselves to be. To shed a weakness, you must do what is necessary to mend that which causes you pain. Will you permit me a brief respite? I wish to seek out an old friend. Niha? I remember. She is important to you, isn't she? She is. But last we spoke, I led her to believe otherwise. This causes you pain. Then go and heal this wound without delay. Find me at the Harbiya Bureau when it is set out. If that was indeed Nihal, I have no... Not a clue where she went. Back home in Anbar, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> 